What's up scholars? We are back again for more amazing science and today we are talking about energy. Now I know you know me by now and you know that I am full of energy but we're not talking about that kind of energy. We are talking about forms of energy. Forms of energy that we can see have patterns and they can be used in our daily lives. As a matter of fact, we use them every day. You use them, I use them, we use them. We have to use them. We depend upon them. They are awesome. And there's actually a mnemonic device that can help us to remember the forms of energy. At least some of the ones that we talk about because there's always more than what we tell you. That's the cool thing about science. Whatever we tell you, there's always more. We'll tell you there's three states of matter and then you'll get into high school and they'll start talking about plasma and Boise atoms and everything else that we're constantly discovering because as scientists, we are constantly discovering that there is so much that we don't know. Now, what are some of the energies that we are going to be talking about? Well, the first letter in the acronym is a, or the, in the mnemonic, is an M. And what does the M stand for? It stands for mechanical. Mechanical. Mechanical energy is the energy of movement. And we've got videos out there on mechanical energy. Like I can grab the rope and I can pull it and pull it. And I can pull it because of mechanical energy. It's everywhere. The next acronym on there is E. And E stands for electrical. So we have mechanical. We have electrical. E-L-E-C-T-R-I-C-A-L. -E -E electrical. Electrical energy is the energy of moving charged particles. Then we have the L. That is the light. L-I-G-H-T. Light energy. Light energy is the energy that we're going to study. The T stands for the thermal. Thermal is a fancy word for heat. It's getting hot in her. That's heat energy, thermal. Then we have our S. Our S stands for sound. This is the energy most likely to get you in trouble at school. Yes, it is sound energy, the energy most likely to get you in trouble, right? Because we know as teachers, you are always talking whenever we don't want you to talk. And sometimes they'll add an additional S because there's another energy that we use. And that energy is our solar energy. And solar energy comes from the sun. So we have M, E, L, T, S, S. That is the easiest way to remember our energy. It melts in your hand, not in your mouth. It's melt. So if I'm getting in a situation where I'm trying to think of my energies, I'm trying to remember like what was the name of that energy, I can write out my melt and then that might help me to remember. When I was teaching, my children would often sing it. So they would say, the mechanical move, electricity shocks, light waves helps us see and the thermal is hot. Sound is caused by vibration. Solar comes from the sun. It's the M-E-L-T-S, get some. Oh yes, they would get it down. That's how we did it. You wanted me to do it again? I know, you, okay, I'll do it one more time. I'll do it one more time. I know that was kind of quick. So you ready? Okay, here we go. It's the mechanical moves, electricity shocks, light waves helps us see, and the thermal is hot. Sound is caused by vibration, solar comes from the sun. It's the M-E-L-T-S, get some. We are going to be talking about all kinds of amazing energies. We'll go through each of these energies and so much more. Scientists, scholars, you better get ready. Here's what I want you to do today. I want you to think of all of the energies that are listed here, and I want you to pick the one energy that you think you know the best about and tell me what you know. Yes, yeah, show me what you know so I can show you where we're going to go. Mechanical, electrical, light, thermal, sound, solar. See you soon. We'll be back with more amazing science. I feel like I should get a cape when that happens. Like Amazing science. Something like that, right? Do I need a cape? You think it would work? Maybe I can become a superhero. I don't know, but we'll be back on with more soon. Have an amazing day, super scholar scientist.